Good evening, my name is uh, Jeff Tonicliffe and I'm from uh, Vancouver, Canada. Over the last several years, evangelicals have issued powerful statements on their, our concern for creation. The MICA Network, the Lausanne Movement, and the World Evangelical Alliance. It was during my 10 years as the Secretary General of the World Evangelical Alliance that we issued a powerful statement, I believe, on creation care, representing the 600 million evangelicals in our movement across the world. It was unanimously approved by our General Assembly, unanimous. So it's from that document I will draw my comments tonight. Psalm 24, verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. As followers of Jesus Christ, committed to the full authority of scriptures and aware of the ways we have degraded creation, we believe that biblical faith is essential to the solution of our ecological problems. Because we worship and honor the creator, we seek to cherish and care for the creation. Because we have sinned, we have failed in our stewardship of creation, therefore we repent of the way we have polluted distorted or destroyed so much of the Creator's work. Because of our relationship to God clo is closely tied to our relationship with the lands we inhabit, we commit ourselves to working for the ecological and social peace and prosperity in of the places to which God has called us. Because in Christ, God has healed our alienation from God and extended to us the first fruits of the reconciliation of all things, we commit ourselves to the working and the power of the Holy Spirit to share the good news of Christ in word and deed, to the work of reconciliation of all people in Christ, and to extend Christ's healing to the suffering creation. Because we await the time when even the groaning creation will be restored to wholeness, we commit ourselves to the work to work vigorously to protect and heal the that creation for the honor and glory of the Creator, whom we know dimly through our true creation, but we meet fully through scriptures and in Christ. We recognize that our children face a growing, a growing crisis in health of creation in which we are embedded and through which by God's grace we are sustained, yet we continue to degrade that creation. We recognize that this is a ver the very poorest in the world who are suffering the most from the effects of environmental degradation, but yet did the least to cause it. We recognize that many concerned people convinced that environmental problems are more spiritual than technical technological are exploring the world's ideologies and religions in search of spiritual resources for the healing of the earth. We also recognize that men, women, and children created in God's image have a unique responsibility for creation. Our actions should sustain creation's fruitfulness and its powerful testimony to its creator. However, too often we have ignored our creaturely limits and have used the earth with greed rather than care. We believe that in Christ there is hope, not only for men, women, and children, but also for the rest of creation that is suffering from the consequences of human sin. Therefore, we call upon all Christians to reaffirm that all of creation is God's, that God's great, greatest is, is good, and that God is renewed.